At some point in your life, you've probably heard at least someone say, maybe in a YouTube video, that it is incredibly important to have a purpose in life. Because this is the stuff that actually gives your life meaning. And also, from a self-improvement perspective, if you want to do things like go to the gym and do no fab, things that take a lot of discipline, you probably need some underlying purpose as well, because else it's going to be very, very hard to stick to these things. On a subconscious level, your mind is going to think, well, why the hell would I bring up a lot of discipline and try to improve myself if there is no reason to improve myself? And so all in all, I think it's very important to just have a general purpose in life, something that makes your life worth living. Now, the problem is that a lot of people don't know what their purpose is. And I know how this feels. I've had a very large period in my life for many years where I had absolutely no clue what I wanted out of life. Whenever I tried to like get my life together by maybe eating healthier or, you know, starting to look for a job, it just made me feel absolutely miserable. And I think there are a lot of people that probably feel the same way. But I've gotten to the point where I started to get sense of what my purpose in life might be. And my life started to snowball into a very positive direction. So in this video, I want to help you guys out to do the same thing. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to find your purpose. Now, the first tip is one of the most important ones, and that is to realize that finding your purpose is incredibly hard, and that is fine. It is okay that you do not know what your purpose is right now. Your purpose will probably also change over time. So it's also okay if you think that you found your purpose and then suddenly, you know, you start to think, oh my God, this is not what I like to do at all. This is not what I want to continue doing for the rest of my life, you know. And then you, you enter this new period where you feel a little bit lost again. That is okay. As ironic as this might sound from someone trying to tell you how important it is to have a purpose, you have to realize that you cannot just sit down and think really hard and then just suddenly come up with your purpose. That's not how it works. A purpose is something that you find out over time. You go through life, you experience different things and you start to slowly find out what things you love to do, what things you hate to do, what things give you fulfillment. And as you go through life, and you are mindful of what things you like and what things you dislike, you slowly start to discover what your purpose might be. So don't worry too much about the fact that you don't have a purpose yet, but just try to be mindful of the things that you either love to do or the things that you hate to do. Try to think about what things give you energy to wake up in the morning. These are the things that probably point into the direction of what your purpose might be. The next tip is a more abstract one, but that is to visualize purpose as an onion. So there are different layers of depth to a purpose. On the outside, there is the, the outer, more superficial layers. And then on the inside, there is the deeper, more core layers of purpose. And this is so ridiculously important to realize. And it's a concept that I got from this book, the Way of the Superior Man by David Dida, or Dada, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. When I first read this, it really resonated with my own personal story. Because I have doubted about this for a very long time. When I was at this, this low in my life, this period where, you know, I didn't know what I wanted out of life, all I did was play video games, smoke weed all the time, eat unhealthy, etc. I eventually got out of this low by having relatively superficial motivation. I got to this point where I just felt tired of living the life I was living and I thought, yeah, I wanna become better with women. I wanna to go to the gym and get six pack abs. I wanna look attractive and have success. I wanna get some poochie. And I, a lot of people will probably say, these are the wrong reasons to improve yourself. These are superficial reasons. And yeah, I knew that they were superficial reasons, but at the same time, they gave me that lust to wake up in the morning. 
they gave me that motivation to actually change my life, to, to, to stop all my bad habits and to start to adopt new habits. And over time, it led me to adopt a lot of other good habits as well. And that's what actually got my life snowballing into the right direction. And so I've often wondered, is superficial motivation really bad motivation or isn't it? Because in me, that is what actually started this positive change in my life. It was very superficial motivation, the thing that people often call a bad thing. But when I read this book, I suddenly realized, yes, it was superficial motivation, but it was only the outer layers of the onion. And sure, superficial motivation is a bad thing when it's the only motivation you have, when for the rest of your life, all that you want is to get six pack abs and to have more success with the ladies. But usually that's not the way it works. Usually when you keep improving yourself, you eventually start to get deeper realizations. You start to find out, hey, wait a second, I don't just want to go to the gym to be more attractive to the ladies, but I actually really value being a responsible person, taking care of myself. I really value trying to become the best version of myself, presenting the best version of myself to the world. That's what gives me energy. That's what gives me life lust. And so over time, as you start with these superficial layers of motivation, it actually leads you to these deeper realizations of what these deeper layers of core purpose are. And so as a general takeaway from this tip, I want to tell you guys, if it is super motiv superficial motivation, just fucking go for it. You know, if that's the thing that gives you energy to wake up in the morning, if that's the thing that makes you go to the gym instead of smoke weed and play a video game, then by all means, go for it. You know, don't listen to other people. If other people tell you it's superficial, I mean, yeah, just tell them, okay, yeah, superficial, but you know what? I like doing it. And over time, this will probably lead you to the realization of what the deeper underlying layers of purpose might be. Now you might have to do like some, a little bit more manual effort to actually try to be mindful of it. Try to think, you know, why is it that I want to have more success with the ladies? Why is it that I like working on my body? Don't overthink it, but just try to be mindful of it and just start going for these things that actually give you a reason to wake up in the morning. And over time, this will probably lead you further into the direction of what your purpose might be. So the next tip is like a quick question you can ask yourself. And that is, what would you do on a typical day if money was no issue? So let's say you were to inherit a hundred billion dollars. What would a typical day five years or 10 years from now look like? Because you're probably going to go through that initial party phase where all you do is just party and go on luxury vacations. Probably that's what most people do. But after a while, you will grow tired of that. And there's probably something that you would do. Now, some people would spend a lot of time playing a certain sport. Some people might go to the gym a lot. Some people might want to do some volunteering work or start like a company where they do some coaching, where they give people advice on stuff that they know about. It differs per person. And of course, you are going to have to find like a realistic balance of this fantasy and reality because you cannot always just make a career out of your fantasy of what you would do if you were extremely rich. But my point is the thing that you would do if money played no role is the thing that probably gives you a lot of fulfillment. And so this is a very good way of finding out at least in what direction your purpose might be. Now, as a last thing to close off this video, I, I just wanted to tell you guys, there is no such thing as a good or a bad purpose. Now, uh, I mean, I guess that in my opinion, if you're like a heroin addict and your purpose is that you want to get high all the time and use as much heroin as possible, that a lot of people would agree that that is a bad purpose, not, not quite optimal. But what I'm trying to say is that what gives one person fulfillment might not be the same for another person. And also a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that a purpose should be this very ambitious world life changing goal that they have. And that's not true at all. 
for a lot of people, having a very simple purpose, especially people in like poorer countries, just having the purpose to want to provide for your family, to want to be a good man, to have any job that brings in money, provide for your family, be a good husband to your wife, be a good father to your children, raise some good children. That can be a perfectly valid purpose. A good purpose is anything that gives you that reason to wake up in the morning. That something that makes your life worth living and that gives you the motivation to actually improve yourself. That is what a good purpose is. Is. So I really hope that these tips are going to help you guys out. If you like the video, click the like button, leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.